Welcome to Entertainment Tech. We have the latest for you in celebrity gossip, fashion styles, and more. Welcome to the Celeb Chat segment. I'm Maria Berkowitz. And I'm Elena Jones. We'll be starting with the latest gossip. The Faulkner Stars starlet Shailene Woodley was arrested last week in North Dakota where she was charged with criminal trespassing and engaging in a riot on a construction site. Woodley, among 200 other protesters, were peacefully protesting the proposed Dakota Access Pipeline, which, if completed, would carry 470,000 barrels of crude oil a day from North Carolina to Illinois. More than 20 other protesters were reportedly arrested along with Woodley. While her arrest took place, Woodley had her mom film the arrest live to Facebook, which was posted to her Facebook page. The video has been viewed over 4 million times. Woodley has been released from the Morton County Jail. Her first court date is scheduled for October 24th. Her publicist says in a statement, she appreciates the outpouring of support, not only for her, but more importantly, for the continued fight against the construction of the Dakota Access Pipeline. The other celebrities voiced their support for the actress on Twitter after her arrest. Among those were her Diver Divergent co-stars Ansel Elgort and Maggie Q. Adele was showered with love in honor of her fifth anniversary with partner Simon Konecki. Adele's music is already a tearjerker for her fans, but at her Nashville show, it was her longtime boyfriend Simon Konecki that made the crowd go crazy. Usually, Adele's concert goers are showered with white confetti while she sings Rolling in the Deep and When We Were Young during the finale. But at the Nashville concert on October 17th, Konecki filled the confetti machine with pink funfetti featuring handwritten love notes saying happy anniversary and you're an angel. Adele's concert was truly just like a movie that night. Her tour unfortunately ends in November, but the couple and their son Angelo plan on moving to Los Angeles to have a down-to-earth life and focus on having a second child. It's a boy. Baby number two has arrived for Scandal star Kerry Washington and former NFL player husband on October 5th in Los Angeles. Joining their two-year-old daughter, Isabel, is new baby brother, Caleb. Washington's pregnancy was revealed at the Met Gala last May, where she was cradling her baby bump while walking down the red carpet. The actress and husband are known to stay private about their personal life and continue to stay quiet throughout her pregnancy. Last month, she did tell Ellen DeGeneres on her show that she and her husband chose not to find out the sex of their second child. They wanted it to be a surprise. Washington has not posted on any form of social media about her son but has been in touch with her followers about other topics. A source says, Carrie Washington was thrilled to be a mom of two. Having Isabel changed her life for the better, and she was so excited to expand the family. A big congrats to the happy family. On October 8th, Brad Pitt and his children had their first reunion since Jolie filed for divorce on September 19th after an alleged altercation between Brad and son Maddox on a private plane. The altercation led to an anonymous call to the Los Angeles County Department of Children and Family Services claiming that Pitt was both verbally and physically abusive towards his eldest son, Maddox. While a monitor was present at the emotional visit, not all six kids were there. 15-year-old Maddox chose to stay, to stay home with Angelina Jolie while his five other siblings went to the supervised visit. According to US Weekly, Maddox even stated that he doesn't really see himself as Pitt's son and never wants to see Brad again. The couple reached a temporary custody agreement, which expires on October 20th, but the FBI reportedly interviewed Jolie and her kids on October 18th to, to attempt to figure out what happened between Brad and Maddox during their altercation. According to US Weekly and E! News, the FBI is looking into where the altercation happened because the plane may not have been in the United States' airspace. Sources have also stated that the altercation was not physical, however, it could have been handled differently. While it is unlikely that the FBI will actually press a case against Pitt, we are still waiting on a final custody verdict. So Shailene Woodley got arrested last week for protesting in North Dakota. No, I heard. Wasn't she protesting against like the oil for the Native American? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and she was with like 200 other protesters and she and only like 20 others got arrested Where and she recorded the entire thing on Facebook, which I thought was kind of crazy. Yeah, no, that's really crazy, especially since she's such a big celebrity, that's probably why she ended up getting arrested. Yeah, I agree. Well, that's it for Celebrity Chat segment. Stay tuned for the latest fashion news. There's one thing you can never have sex without. It's consent. Because sex without it isn't sex. It's rape. It's on us to stop sexual assault. Learn how and take the pledge at itsonus.org. Sure, I look cute now, but when my owner lost his job, it was rough. I was living on the street, and one night, me and this Cocker Spaniel got into it so bad, I wound up looking like an ice cream cone. 
I cried a little bit, but thankfully I got rescued, so I'm running, I'm jumping, all back to my old self. And I'm ready to give unconditional love, even if you put a lampshade on my head. Welcome back to the Celeb Chat. I'm D'Angela Haynes with your latest fashion styles. Last week, Virginia Tech was treated to a pink campus party and free concert on the drill field from EDM star Diplo. The EDM concert brought out extreme, creative, and spunky looks from all students on campus. With the colorful and loud dance atmosphere, many of the women in the crowd were seen wearing metallic bright crop tops and plenty of glitter. Hairstyles were also integrated as part of their fashion statements. Many ladies stepped out of the box and styled their hair up in pigtail space buns or even in some half up, half down party ponies. As for shoes, the majority of girls prioritized comfort and wore a simple pair of Converse chucks or Vans. On the other hand, the guys seemed to grab their favorite pair of graphic tees and bandanas, keeping their style rather easy and carefree. It's now sweater weather in Blacksburg, Virginia, so make that closet transition from summer to fall. This fall, the necessary essentials include comfy knit sweaters, military jackets, silk scarves, and denim skirts in darkened tones, such as black, mustard yellow, and of course, Hokie Nation colors, burnt orange and maroon. Don't forget to keep those simple t-shirts, leggings, and your favorite booties as basic layering pieces for any fall outfit. Take your favorite rompers and dresses and pair them with oversized cardigans for an evening out or even a walk downtown. Fellas, don't be dismayed. Switch out those athletic shorts for fitted joggers for an on-the-go style. Ladies, always keep the hunter boots near. As you know, Blacksburg weather is very unpredictable. Those cold nights certainly won't be avoidable, fellow Hokies, so be sure to pack a knit scarf and a pair of le leather gloves in your backpack. Don't be afraid to add some color and prints to your closet. Whether it's stripes, turtlenecks, or even accessorized flannels, you're sure to be stay trendy in the fall 2016 season. Step aside, Patagonia. This upcoming fall and winter, there appears to be a new comfy brand on the come up. True Grit, the clothing line most famous for their fleece, is giving Patagonia a run for their money as college students are now rushing to the stores to purchase their new frosty tip pullovers. The pullovers look similar to Patagonia's, but are covered completely in cozy knitted fleece inside and out. The pullovers come in many different colors such as brown, cream, charcoal, and peach. The fleeces are being sold for $130 a piece, but rumor has it knockoff brands are selling identical jackets for cheaper. True Grit has also begun selling vests, scarves, flannels, and more. To learn more, you can visit TrueGrit.com. Who's the one celebrity with plenty of influence on fashion? Well, of course, Rihanna. And it seems to be that Rihanna's collaboration with Puma is still contributing to retailers everywhere. As you may know, her first slides and creepers have sold out immediately on many websites. Don't be dismayed. A few alternative styled shoes are available for all you sneakerheads to have comfortable shoes along with a simple design is the best route to go when choosing out sneakers. Since the exclusive Rihanna releases will be pricey to go and buy, you probably still want the same look without breaking the bank. Go online or even to your nearest Foot Locker and pick up some Puma suede classics. These sneakers are versatile in endless colors and available for both guys and gals. When you're wearing those black leggings or skinny jeans with a white t-shirt, having some Puma suede in a bright color will add a pop of attitude and street style to your everyday wear. Don't worry, a college budget is in favor with these shoes. They're only $60 to $75 and are sure to be on sale online. If you're ready for spunk in your footwear, go ahead and get your Pumas a day for a workout in the gym, a run out the door, or simply a grab-and-go outfit. That's it for fashion news. Stay tuned for the on-screen scoop. Here's your check. Oh, you, you got it. You know, since I got rid of my car, I really enjoy walking. Okay. Got it. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Oh, you're home early. You live with your mom? That'll set your game back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. So they say it's a man's world? I don't see anybody's name on it. While they were doing their thing, we slowly changed all Today, women can do anything men can do. 
And there's one thing we're even better at. We're back with the on-screen scoop. I'm Hannah Brown. The iconic show, Gilmore Girls, is returning on November 25th on Netflix. It has been about eight years since we last saw Lorelai and Rory at Luke's diner. This new series is called Gilmore Girls, A Year in the Life. This is great news for the people who used to binge watch Gilmore Girls when they were younger. It is almost as if we are rekindling an old relationship. We will get to see new drama unfold and also new relationships form. It has been told that a lot of new faces are coming to town, including a Peruvian couple, magazine editor named James, and a young man named Damon. Oh, and don't worry, season sev seven still exists with a storyline. Now we will learn the mystery final words written by original show creator and Amy Sherman Palladino after all these years. Gilmore Girls is a show that will make you feel warm inside and will bring back many memories from your childhood. Tune into Netflix November, November 25th to see what's going on in the Gilmore Girls' lives. The new thrilling Netflix original series, Stranger Things, has taken the world by storm. Created by the Duffer Brothers, this science fiction based show stars actress Winona Ryder as Joyce Byers. When Joyce's son, Will, goes missing, she launches an investigation into his disappearance. As the search for Will unravels, the cast finds themselves running into a lot of unusual situations, including a telekinetic little girl, secret government experiments, and supernatural forces. The first season of Stranger Things only has eight episodes, but the first episode received such positive feedback that a new season is coming in 2017. If you're looking for a show that is exciting and sometimes heartbreaking, then Stranger Things is for you. The entire first season of Stranger Things is available to stream for Netflix subscribers right now. The TV series This Is Us has recently been ranked E's number one new TV show. The series premiered on NBC on September 20th, 2016. The cast members include Mandy Moore, Sterling K. Brown, and Chris Sullivan. The plot of the TV series is about family lives and connections of several people who all share the same birthday. Throughout the show, it shows how each person is similar and different in many ways. Each person is either struggling with something or experiencing a new chapter in their life. A, chap a character named Rebecca is struggling with wanting to be a good mother, while their husband Jack is trying to overcome alcoholism. Another character, Kate, is struggling with confidence. Her boyfriend, Toby, tries to encourage Kate to have better self-esteem. And lastly, Randall tries to find his biological father, who is a former drug addict. His father is suffering from stomach cancer and wants to rekindle their relationship. This TV series is, is considered a dramedy. It is a loving drama with comedy. This is a great show to watch with your friends, family, and other loved ones. Tune in to NBC on Tuesday, 9, 8 central time. Luke Cage, the third show in the Netflix original Defender series, has received raving reviews because of its strong, yet flawed, central character. This gritty, action-packed drama is based on Marvel's Luke Cage, Hero for Hire comic, which was first published in 1972. The series follows Luke Cage, played by Mike Coulter, who is a man with super strength and unbreakable skin because of a sabotaged experiment. After Luke's relationship with fellow superhero Jessica Jones fails, he tries to rebuild a nice life in Harlem, New York. That is, until Luke is pulled from the shadows of Harlem and asked to battle for his city. Cage runs into some complications along the way. This Netflix original series is richly written with characters that are relatable to all of us. If you would like to watch Luke Cage, all 13 episodes of the first season are available for streaming on Netflix. That's it for Entertainment Tech. We'll see you next week.